So in this video, we're going to sketch y equals x squared take away x take away 6 over x squared plus x take away 6. So first thing to identify, can you factorise the numerator and denominator? OK, so in this case, we're going to have x take away 3x plus 2 in the numerator. And in the denominator, we would have x plus 3x minus 2. OK. So on our sketch, we want to identify the vertical asymptotes first. That's when the denominator is 0. So that would be at minus 3 and plus 2. So x equals minus 3 and x equals 2. Right. Next thing to do is work out where it's crossing the x-axis, which is when y is 0. That's when the numerator is 0. So that would be at minus 2 and plus 3. So minus 2 and plus 3. So that's where it's crossing the x-axis. Now, how about where it's crossing the y-axis? So that would be when x is 0. And so we would get minus 6 over minus 6, which is 1. So it's crossing through the y-axis at 1. Now, how about horizontal asymptote? Well, the order of the polynomial on the top and the bottom is the same. So dividing through by x squared, we would get 1 take away 1 over x, take away 6 over x squared. Uh, over 1 plus 1 over x, take away 6 over x squared, which was, would tend to 1 over 1 as x tends to plus or minus infinity. So y equals 1 is going to be a horizontal asymptote. Now we need to determine whether it's going to cross that uh, horizontal asymptote again. So I'm going to put x squared take away x take away 6 over x squared plus x take away 6 equal to 1. So multiply up. The x squareds cancel from both sides. Add the x to both sides. OK, uh, but the minus 6 cancels from both sides as well. Should have spotted that. Equals 0. And so x is equal to 0. And so that's the only point where it's going to be crossing the horizontal asymptote. OK, right, so if we look at this portion of the graph first, uh, in order to cross through at 3 and 10 towards these two asymptotes, it must be doing something like this. So that's that first part. As for to the left of x equals minus 3, well, it can't be down here, otherwise it would have to cross the x-axis at this point, so it's going to have to be up here. And the section in the middle, well, in order to um, go through these two points, we're going to have to have the curve coming down and then twisting round. So that's the only way that's going to work. So through there, through there, and down. OK? And so this is what the curve would have to look like. 